Hey guys, what's up? This is Inventor Boy 16, and um, I'm doing another video on my uh, Portable Everlast outlet, or my um, uh, just my portable outlet, if you want to call it that. So, my in my last video, I showed you guys that I'm running my four lights. That light, that light, a little disc right there, and then that light off of it, and being able to go off grid for a little while if I want to. So, but I've done some upgrades to the uh, unit, and I'll open it up and I'll just show you guys what I've done. So, I'll move the lid. So, you see, I have the batteries, and there's a lot more wires, and it's a lot more messier. But the thing is, is I don't have to mess with the batteries anymore. And then I have a 7 amp 24 volt fuse on there to keep them from having any problems. So, yeah. But the thing was, is um, I have now have the ability to tie these in parallel or in a series for it to charge, of course. Um, if I want to, I can choose if I want parallel or series without having to mess around with the wires because I have a switch box, which I'll show you in a second. And the reason I thought of the idea was is because last, the last time I tried to use this, I tried to charge it, one battery had more power in it, and it, and it when it was charging, that one battery got really, really hot, and that could have caused a problem if I didn't notice it. So, the thing is, is now, if I can time, now that I, time, I can time in parallel, I can run the system off of just one massive 12 volt battery instead of two little ones. And um, the thing is I can switch them so I can into a series, if, so if I want to I can run just uh, the one, s one battery or, um, or charge them. So if I open up, if I come close up the box, and please excuse the banging, it's just my brother Jackson being annoying. So if you see I have the switch box here, and I still have the orange plugs, and that reason it is, if one battery gets, has that problem again, where it gets more power than the other, then I can unplug it and run the one with more power down, and then be able to keep, continue charging them, so it doesn't cause any damage to the batteries themselves. So, you see here, the silver one, this one is for the main power to the um, unit. So if I flip that, it'll turn on the unit. And then I have these two batteries. These are for the, um, I mean, sorry, not batteries, switches. I had these two switches right here and here. These are for the, um, for the, uh, parallel. So I can tie the batteries in parallel. And all I do is just flip them up, and then they're in parallel. Thing is, is I have to have them off. Oh, and I use, um, Lego pieces to be able to have this thing mounted, so. And if I want them to, um... And if I want, and I need to have them off when I'm charging, because if I have a parallel s you, um, s um, circuit going while I have a series circuit going, it'll cause a short circuit, and then that could um, potentially cause some serious problems. So all I need to do to be able to charge the batteries is just flip the switch and then have my charger hooked up, and then it'll charge the batteries right up for me. And I can still use the system while it's charging, but the thing is I can't use the parallel system. So just get the stupid... Lego connection there. There we go. So, I have my charger back there, which I'm not really going to go into detail with, but I have my charger back there charging them up, and I, um, see I have the wires all neat and tidy outside the box. There's one fat, huge wire, except for the charging wire that goes to the charger. Get rid of that strand of hot glue. And then, um, I have the other hole here that um, has this wire venting from it, so these are just my inverter wires, so I don't have to keep fiddling around with my inverter to be able to, uh, you know, mess with it or whatever, and if it gets a problem, then I don't have to rip out everything just to reach my, just to reach my inverter wires, so. Yeah, so I'll show you the unit in action. So if I take off the control panel, this stupid Lego move. There you go. Open up the lid, move the lid to the side, and that's the cool thing is I don't have to have the lid on here at all if I w don't want it, because I have the uh, ability to choose um, to have the this on to it because of the Lego, stuff like that, so that's a pretty dandy little thing. So you see I have my inverter, I'm going to turn it on, and it's going to turn on my 
lights. I'm going to turn off the main or the grid power and I'll show you guys it's working. Alright, so it's about to get very bright in here. So, so yeah, I'm going to turn it on. See my, oh, I'm about to turn my big lamp. See all these lights go on. And you see there's a red light on my inverter. That means the battery's dead. But the cool thing is, is with the, um, with the parallel, it allows me to actually have both batteries tied together to be able to power the system. So if I flip them both on, you see it goes green. And then the lights are dim whenever these lights are dim. Not this one. This one's plugged into the wall. But you see it's dying. And the reason it's flash, the lights are flashing is because it doesn't have enough power. So I'm going to turn it on full power and have both batteries get going. And the thing is, that's the cool thing is, is now I don't have to worry about these batteries becoming unbalanced because I have the board here. So that's the cool thing. In fact, I'm actually going to, uh, never mind, never mind people. <laughs> yeah. But you see it's uh, running uh, strictly off of the parallel circuit. So... And I and my battery, the battery that had the problem is actually connected to the fuse. So if it does have the problem again, the other battery has never had that problem before. So I'm not worried about it. But the reason it's connected to the fuse is if it has a 24 volt shock or something, this fuse will pop out and I can just put the, um, push it back in and it'll work just fine. So you see it's powering my lights. And it's in the parallel circuit, so it'll run a lot longer than what it would normally. So, yeah. So I don't ever have to worry about my um, box ever becoming, you know, uh, becoming, you know, uh, you know, like messy or having me to have to constantly go in here to be able to undo the wiring and stuff like that. And um, my, of course, my um, transformer is there for shock safe. And I can have my computer charge off of this thing now. So that's the cool thing. So... Um, again, I am, um, uh, it's still a work in progress. I'm still waiting for some parts to come in for Christmas. So I'm going to be hoping to get, still waiting for, um, a, a better 400 watt inverter that I asked for and probably a solar panel so I can charge these off of the, I mean, run the inverter off the solar panel and then be able to, uh, do something of that nature and then be able to have the, uh, batteries be charged off solar. So, yeah. You see, it's a pretty uh, decent setup. The inside of the box looks like crud, but that doesn't really matter. It's a nice, decent-looking outside that I like. And the panel can come off and be put back on stuff for the controlling of the circuits and stuff like that, which is really nice. And you see, it's a very thick. I had to fight with this a lot to be able to get these wires into the box because of how, how messy they were and stuff. But now that they're in, I can... Um, See, I have them taped right here and here to be able to keep them from, you know, being a huge clutter all over the place. And pulling the batteries um, leads off of the thing here, which I hot glued so they don't come off and they still have power going to them. So, you see, it's a pretty decent setup. Uh, it's not, you know, beautiful, but, yeah, hey, it works. <laughs> so, I should be able to power my lights for double the amount that it was able to previously. And it won't, and it shouldn't be giving me any problems with it because of how it's hooked up. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will get some more videos up, guys. I know I've been doing, um, I know it's been kind of slow. It's really, I haven't really had anything to do videos on lately. So, it's been kind of slow. So, yeah. I'll get some more videos up. I promise you guys that. And... I hope you guys enjoyed, um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube. Bye.